What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to the last player review of the morning. This is my fourth video of the morning as well. We've been on that grind. I've been recording and editing for the past three hours almost. We've done a Boyata review. We've done a Ward Prowse review. Now we're going to be looking at this Jose Fonte who's got an absolutely exceptional pace boost. And if you take a look at League on centre backs, you're not left with too many options. You've obviously got Kempembe, but you don't really want to use his gold rare card at this point. You've got Marquinhos who is very, very much, much more expensive than him. Then obviously you've got uh, Ramos and his Medina card who are both expired SBCs. So if you're looking at tradable options or only like, you know, respectable ones, is this team of year Marquinhos and Jose Fonte. So league on centre backs are limited and in fact Jose Fonte has got such a big boost makes me really intrigued by this card. Six foot three, a medium high work rates, medium high work rates, absolutely ideal. Head on over to his attributes, 82 pace, chuck a shadow on him, goes up to 92. Solid short passing of 86 is dribbling as well as very respectable for a center back 76 agility and 81 balance I think dribbling very underrated for a center back and you do need that you know agility and balance to be able to turn quickly especially with the amount of Mbappes and Ben Yedders you're going to be coming up against great reactions and composure of 91 defensively especially with a shadow boost phenomenal and physical wise as well absolutely phenomenal as for player traits Got the power header. Um, the solid player, team play, and leadership will not affect him in ultimate team. I'd only wouldn't like offline simulated, like, you know, career mode games. However, power header trait is an absolutely exceptional trait to have. We're going to head on over to Footbin here, lads. And as you can see, with this Jose Fonte card, chuck a shadow on him. You've got a 95 rated center back. Um, I know people will be saying, should I put an anchor on him for a physical boost? In my opinion, boys, I just think you need to prioritize need to prioritize that plus 10 pace because 92 pace is respectable whereas I think 87 pace is a little bit too uh, not not quite enough for this point of a game we're heading into team of the season you want pace you're going to be playing pacey players we picked them up for 63k probably going to be settling at around 50,000 coins let's try them out lads on in lads we're currently got a plus three elo currently three and oh so holy shit that's a good team that is a Momin Zidane mid Palais Mbappe that's a more expensive team than mine. Wow, all right. Well, the good thing with a centre-back review, and I always say this, is I don't really have to win, right? As long as we're testing, especially in foot champs, when you're reviewing a centre-back in foot champs, you're going to be playing a card. Also, you're going to be playing cards that are top tier. I'm playing uh, Mbappe. I'm playing Moments of Dan mid Palais, so at least we can test them out to the fullest against some of the best attackers in the game. So this is going to be a massive test for him, but let's see if he's up to it. I probably should have mentioned, um, obviously you guys are saying on Jose Fonte, that's beautiful. Straight away getting that interception through. Six foot three, by the way. He's an absolute monster. Very long legs to be able to stretch out. There going, Tiago. Tiago, time that. Oh, this guy's that's, that's probably should have mentioned and what I was saying before, um, before Jose Fonte actually incept, uh, intercepted that, is we are playing him in a two centre back formation. So we've moved to a 4 3 2 1 in game with a right forward and left forward. Marquinhos is currently our central midfielder slash CDM with Jose Fonte and Maldini, our two centre back partnership. Jose Fonte. Progressing the pitch, which, you know, you can do with him. Solid pass out as well. Boys, we are running riot. We are running absolute riot. 5-1, my opponent's gone. I mean, uh, we, we, we were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> absolutely destroyed. Jose Fonte didn't actually have too much to do. He got an interception. Um, other than that, we tested out the passing a little bit. Really respectable passing. His right trigger, left trigger jockeying as well. Not too bad for a centre back. I mean, 76 agility, 81 balance, more than enough. But we've scored five goals in 17 minutes. Uh, and that puts us 4-0. Oh. Let's head into game number five. Foot champs number five. Game number two of the review. Right, boys, game five. Sorry, started recording late, so didn't get it. My opponent had a very solid team. Moments speaker, me like Marquinhos, Kempembe, the classic meta team. Um, first game, as I said, wasn't too much action for Jose Fonte, but when he did, you know, need to get the tackle through, he did the job of interception, sorry. Um, but this will be a very interesting 90 minutes coming up. Nice pass, some solid short passing, which, as I always say in my reviews, very underrated for a centre back. Go on, Jose Fonte. Go in here. That is the last man. That is, honestly, I'm not going to lie, that's tackle of the day for me. This is my fifth foot champs game. We're currently 4-0. Oh. That is the tackle of the day for me. Jose Fonte again. We bring him out. He's going to go ping that straight into Yashin's arms. Last man. We go in for the slide tackle. We get a foot to it. 
absolutely that's clutch that is a very very clutch Jose Fonte now we miss that slide tackle but you know what it was worth a shot we still have our players back here and we, we get out sketch free <laughs> he's done it again Jose Fonte what a tackle that, that that's unbelievable I feel like him being six foot three going in for a slide tackle you know is, is the like the tackling animation if you will you feel so confident once he's so tall, towers over him, then you go into the tackle, and as I was saying, the tackle animation with him as well makes it even better. Zidane can't quite make it 3-0. Free, free like, the tackle animation, you go on for a slide tackle, and he kind of, like, he makes himself really large, right? He fall onto the ground, he's massive, can't get past him, bro. He's like a brick wall. Jose Fonte. Oh, that's honestly unfortunate from him. He was the man that was going to try and stop that. Um, and I feel like, you know, maybe could have gotten that interception through there. Very, very unlucky. It's a tight angle. But obviously, that's what that fantasy foot who CMLR is going to do to you, man. Very, very good first half from him, boys. We've just gone 3-1 up again to make that, uh, de that goal deficit even harder for my opponent. Um, but Jose Fonte, really solid. He's had, once again, two slide tackles, very good ones as well. And as I was talking about, I kind of feel like I, I explained it really poorly with that tackling animation. When he went into the tackle, and when, I when he went into the slide tackle, once he's so tall, that's what makes the animation so good. Just to clarify, I feel like I kind of, you know, may maybe overcomplicated it. But his tackle animation, when he went in, once he's six foot three, going into the tackles you feel really confident because he's absolutely massive for one but two if he is going in for a slide tackle your opponent he's got like nowhere to go nowhere to move because you've got a big six foot three jose fonte covering the whole ground right jose fonte with the interception we rate that just get it out a little bit of a heavy touch but it will do my opponent's playing a very high line jose fonte actually makes himself in a way a little bit of a uh, pain for my opponent i don't know if Jose Fonte got to a touch to that first, but he, might, he, he may have. I'm actually not sure. I'll have to watch that back. Well, we did end up winning 5-1 in the end, and an absolutely phenomenal performance from Jose Fonte. Getting a 6.9 out of 10. I do think being the yellow card, if he didn't get that, he might have been given a 7.2, 7.3. But what I really like about this card is he's very, 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 very massive. Six foot three. I mean, he's not, you know, massive, massive, but six foot three going into tackles. He's kind of got like a high, he's got a high and average body type, but he's very skinny. So he's like a high, tall, skinny dude. Very strong. Gets into the tackle incredible like tackling animation and as well I think that pace boost for him has done him wonders. For the pros and cons screen boys chemistry style is 100% a shadow. Um, I'm starting off with the pros we're going to say height, medium high work rates which is ideal, 91 reactions with 91 composure, 91 defending, 91 physical especially that 93 strength and 91 aggression. Going into a tackle with him you are very very confident that you are going to come out with the ball. As for the links yes a strong link to foot birthday and new no minge and as well uh, he gets a strong link to rule breakers lopez in net for the rating out of 10 boys i'm gonna give him a 9.3 out of 10 i think he's one of the best probably i'll say the third best league on center back behind team of year marquee actually disregarding sbcs if you were to buy a league on center back on the market i would say he's second behind team of the year marquinhos road to the final compembe and then i'll put jose fonte in that order um if you're counting sbc cards then i'll probably put him fifth or sixth because obviously you've got that foot birthday ramos and that uh, fancy foot medina card and to take into consideration before only 60 to 50 thousand coins you get a very good card make sure you get a shadow on him to get that pace boost up and you are golden hopefully you guys did enjoy i'll see you boys later